Unit 7, Lesson 1, Positive and Negative Numbers. Number 1. A. Is a temperature of negative 11 degrees warmer or colder than a temperature of negative 15 degrees? Negative 11 degrees is warmer than negative 15 degrees. B. Is an elevation of negative 10 feet closer or farther from the surface of the ocean than an elevation of negative 8 feet? Negative 10 feet is farther from the surface of the ocean than negative 8 feet. C. It was 8 degrees at nightfall. The temperature dropped 10 degrees by midnight. What was the temperature at midnight? 8 minus 10 is negative 2. So it would be negative 2 degrees. Or we could look at it as 8 plus a negative 10, and that also would be negative 2. So the temperature at midnight would be negative 2 degrees. D. A diver is 25 feet below sea level. After he swims up 15 feet towards the surface, what is his elevation? 25 feet below sea level, that would be like negative 25. And then he swims up 15 feet, that would be like plus 15. So negative 25 plus 15 would be 10 feet below sea level, or negative 10. Number 2. A. A whale is at the surface of the ocean to breathe. What is the whale's elevation? The whale's elevation is sea level. B. The whale swims down 300 feet to feed. What is the whale's elevation now? Well, he went down 300 feet from sea level. So that's like going from zero down 300 feet. So that would be negative 300 feet or 300 feet below sea level. C. The whale swims down 150 more feet. What is the whale's elevation now? If the whale started at 300 feet below sea level and then he swam down another 150 feet, that would be 450 feet below sea level or negative 450 feet. D. Plot each of the three elevations as a point on a vertical number line. Label each point with its numeric value. The whale started at zero, which would be sea level. He went down 300 feet, which would have brought him to 300 feet below sea level, or negative 300 feet. Then the whale went down an additional 150 feet, making a total of 450 feet below sea level, or negative 450 feet. Number 3. Explain how to calculate a number that is equal to 2 and 1 tenth over 1 and 5 tenths. 2 and 1 tenth over 1 and 5 tenths is the same as 21 over 15. I just made each of those values 10 times greater by multiplying the both of them by 10. That helped me get rid of the decimal point, allowing me to deal with whole numbers instead of decimals. 21 over 15, or 21 divided by 15. And 21 divided by 15 is 1 and 4 tenths, or 1.4. Number 4. Write an equation to represent each situation and then solve the equation. A. Andre drinks 15 ounces of water, which is three-fifths of a bottle. How much does the bottle hold? Use X for the number of ounces of water the bottle holds. 15 equals three-fifths X, or 15 equals three-fifths times X. That can be rewritten as three-fifths times X equals 15. To solve for X, I'm going to divide 15 by three-fifths. 15 divided by 3 fifths will give me the value for x. 15 divided by 3 fifths equals x. To solve that, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 3 fifths. So 15 times 5 thirds. 15 times 5 thirds is 25. The bottle holds 25 ounces of water. B. A bottle holds 15 ounces of water. Jada drank 8 and 5 tenths ounces of water. How many ounces of water are left in the bottle? Use Y for the number of ounces of water left in the bottle. 15 ounces in the bottle minus 8 and 5 tenths ounces of water that Jada drank will give you Y, the number of ounces that are left in the bottle. 
and 15 minus 8 and 5 tenths equals 6 and 5 tenths. So there are 6 and 5 tenths ounces of water left in the bottle. C. A bottle holds Z ounces of water. A second bottle holds 16 ounces, which is 8 fifths times as much water. How much does the first bottle hold? 8 fifths Z, or 8 fifths times Z, equals 16. We can solve for z by dividing 16 by 8 fifths. So 16 divided by 8 fifths will equal z, or the amount that the first bottle holds. We can do this by multiplying by the reciprocal of 8 fifths. 16 times 5 eighths equals 10. The first bottle holds 10 ounces of water. Number 5. A rectangle has an area of 24 square units and a side length of 2 and 3 fourths units. Find the other side length of the rectangle. Show your reasoning. Well, I know the area is equal to base times height. We can find the missing side length by dividing the area by the known side length. So area divided by base will give us the unknown side length. 24 divided by 2 and 3 fourths can be rewritten as 24 divided by 11 fourths. 24 divided by 11 fourths can be done by multiplying by the reciprocal of 11 fourths. 24 times 4 elevenths equals 96 elevenths. So the missing side length is 96 elevenths, which can be rewritten as 8 and 8 elevenths. The missing side length is 8 and 8 elevenths units. Congratulations, you've completed Unit 7, Lesson 1, Positive and Negative Numbers.